Hi guys, Brian the Scare Lion back with another video and joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. Wah! Wah! And are you ready to kick ass and take names? <laughs> God, this fucking weird ass pay per view. Uh, hey, this is going to be a beer prediction sports stomping grounds. Where are we? Kick ass and take names! Literally, the logo for this fucking pay per view is a book. It's a, it's a big book. But I swear to God, if somebody doesn't finish a match with a big book, I'm going to be disappointed. Honestly, this match card is so bog standard. There's one or two good matches, but the rest of the card just looks... Everything just rehashed. Hashtag, let's rehash it. But, with that being said, let's get into our actual predictions. So the first match that we've got on the card is for the Cruiserweight Championship. And we've got a triple threat match. It's Tony Nese versus Drew Gulak versus Akira Tozawa. Who have you got in this one and why? I'm taking Tozawa. Taking Akira Tozawa? He needs a title. He's the fan favourite in this match. To be fair to him, so... With WWE done, we'll upset say actually. Since they actually signed him as well. With WWE done, we may superstars. Aye, but at least may superstars actually get, get a showing. Unlike so if I for uh, NXT or NXT UK or something like that, and they've just done absolutely nothing with his own. Uh, with me, I'm going to go with Drew Gulak on this. I mean, he's just had a couple of amazing matches on fucking NXT. He's gone back to 205 Live and he's looking fucking hench well done. So, do you know what? I'm going with Drew Gulak on this one. So, next up, we've got what, what a modern light will be on the pre show anyway. Mm. The New Day against. Kevin and Sammy. So what have you got in this round? Well, the two members of the New Day are obviously Big E and oh, aye, Xavier Big Woods. E and Xavier Woods because Kofi's got match. Kofi's got his match. We're probably going to go for the New Day getting the big victory in that. But I, I don't care. I'm taking Kevin and Sammy on this. Come on, let's give Kevin and Sammy the fucking win. They want to see this at Sammy Zayn, right? Uh, probably. So for that, I've, I've got New Day. You're taking the New Day. I'm just hoping we get Kevin and Sammy getting the win on this. I know it probably won't happen. I think a lot of this I'm just going to be going with what I want to happen rather than what I think will happen. I actually need to go with what, what I think will happen. Uh, so I usually it, lose. It's not just that. You know what the punishment is. You know what's riding on this. Yes, I do. Next up, we finally have a SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. <laughs> finally. Jesus. <laughs> uh, it's obviously Daniel Bryan and... Rowan, can't call him Eric Rowan anymore. Ah, oh, fucking hate WWE <laughs> for that. Oh, sorry, wait, the tag team champions is Daniel Bryan with oh. Rowan. Oh, aye. He, he's no one of the tag team champions, he's just with them. Yeah, just, oh, Daniel <laughs> Bryan is the tag team champions. Uh, versus Heavy Machinery, uh, Otis Dozovic and Tucker Knight. Who have you got in this one? I, I've, I've got Bryan and Rowan. Hmm. It's the first title defense that kind of really have them draw from straight away, can especially uh, to true. especially to heavy machinery who have just came up who have been. It's not just that the uh, the NXT nah, and we true. all know what Vince thinks. NXT is a sham. I <laughs> but if they couldn't capture the NXT tag team champions championships, then they're not really going to put the SmackDown tag team championships on them. No, it's got, I'm I'm going with the same uh, Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan to take this. Oh. Rolling, sorry. So next up, we've actually got a match that everybody's excited about. I, I'm really looking forward to this like one. A, it's probably going to be match of the night. Mm. And it's for the United States Championship, which, which is Joe going up against Ricochet. Aye, uh, so what have you got in this, Brian? Well, either way, like I'm looking forward to a fucking fantastic match here. It's all a good match. It's actually going to be on the card. Uh, and my heart's torn on this one because, I mean... It's Ricochet. Ricochet is fucking incredible. To see him wear any fucking title, amazing. But do we want Joe to lose the championship? I don't I, Do we want Ricochet to lose another high profile match? Actually, I'm going with some more Joe for one reason and one reason only. I feel like if Ricochet gets this championship, it's going to ruin him. Look at Shinsuke. I do not want to see Ricochet with this championship, it'll probably fucking destroy him, so I'm going with Joe. I don't know, because I don't want to see Ricochet losing another high profile match. Mm. He just keeps losing and losing, it's just... Hey, but do you want Joe to lose the championship? I don't want Joe to lose the championship either, he's actually making the United States Championship mean something again. 
<laughs> it's starting to look like an actual championship. Oh, I, I've got Joe. I'm taking Joe. You're taking Joe as well. Yeah, so yeah. we've both got Joe on this one. Next up, we have Roman Reigns versus Drew. I'm Drew McIntyre. I'm Drew. Who have you got in this one and why? I'm Drew. You taking Drew? I'm taking Drew. He needs this. Uh, truth be told, Roman Reigns is probably going to win this one. But again, I'm, I'm going with my heart over my head. I'm Drew. I'm going with Drew. Big bad Drew McIntyre for Ayrshire. Drew needs this. I, I, I don't... I don't know why they're doing this with Drew. They've made him Shane's lackey. And sh the truth is, they're, they're trying to make Shane the biggest heel in the fucking company. That's Drew. Drew is the biggest and best heel that you've fucking got. And yet he's been reduced to being a fucking lackey. This is better than three, man, but. So next up we've got the Raw Women's Championship, which is Becca Wincher versus New Charlotte. New Charlotte. So if you got in this frame? This time I'm going with my head over my heart. So I'm uh, You've got New Charlotte. Mm, I can't bring myself to say it. I'm taking Becky. I'm going to lose on this one. What about you? I've got New Charlotte. You've got New Charlotte. You're taking fucking Lacey Evans. I'm Evans. Taking Lacey Evans. Fair enough then. I just couldn't bring myself to say it. Next up, we've got the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is between Bailey and the goddess, Alexa Bliss. Who have you got in this one and why? Well, I've got Bailey on this. It's her first actual TV title defense, so... Mm. They're not really going to have a drop in it. Nah, uh, I'm going to be taking Bailey as well, but for a different reason. We keep getting little rumours here and there about uh, Sasha Banks making her return. No. I feel like that Sasha Banks is going to make her return, and attack Bailey after this match. Lay out Bailey and she'll be the next competitor and we'll actually get to see the Sasha Bailey feud. We are fucking uh, counselling. We are this whole oh is it turning towards a lesbian angle. We'll actually get to see a fucking feud. NXT, they had one of the best feuds on NXT. I it can work if you fucking invest in it. If you put some time in it, please actually do it. So next up we've got a match that we would have been excited about like five years ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. But no, it's just, no, it's just there. Hmm. It's Coffee against Dolph Ziggler for the WWE Championship. Both great in the ring. They are, they're both absolutely fucking brilliant in the ring, but... Coffee's character is still brilliant. It's just Dolph Ziggler's It's just Dolph. Now. Dolph is pure... Ugh. It should have been me! It should have been me! Fuck off. I do not like this storyline. I do not like Dolph's character. Like, can we move on to something better, please? And everything that's led up to it, the heel tactics for Xavier Woods. I know. It's been very confusing. Uh, but for me in this, let's, let's just not be daft. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Do you know how I'd rather see face him than fucking Dolph Ziggler? George. <laughs> George Miz. Uh, I'd rather that than what we've had for the rumours. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the rumours. No. If you haven't heard, the rumours are the next WWE Champion is going to be the best in the world. Shame. Here we are on the final match, and for the final match, we're doing two predictions. Um, basically, this match is Seth Rollins versus Baron Corbin for the Universal Championship with a mystery guest referee. Uh, we still don't know who the referee is yet, uh, so that's going to be one of our guesses. So, first off, let's start with that. Who do you think is going to be the special guest referee in this match? Brad Maddox. You saying Brad Maddox? Brad Maddox to make a return. Well, I'm no, I'm taking, I'm taking Brad Maddox. He's taking Brad Maddox. I'm going for a bit of a swerve here. What? The one thing everybody's talking about is Brock Lesnar's probably going to be the special guest ref. I am going to say that Baron Corbin is going to make himself the special guest referee so that not only can he participate in the match, but also he can take charge here. 
No, actually. John Cena. John Cena! No, because you've got the J John Cena heel character coming back and it, it, we, it, we don't been, know that. We he's don't been know seen that. backstage in that lot and like he's not actually made TV appearances. Uh, that, that could mean something for this match. So you're taking Cena? I'm taking John Cena. Right, so for the special guest ref, he's taking Cena. I'm taking Corbin today at himself. Uh, who have you got to win this match? Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins to actually win it? No, actually no, no. Baron Corbin to win. You're taking Baron to win. And then uh, have Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch always get the uh, big titles on the same night. Mm -hmm. And then they can stop with all this fucking stupid story. With all this stupid. Or either a couple of which just show, show it everywhere. Mm -hmm. it, it's just not. Uh, well, for me in this match, I am taking Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I'm saying Brock Lesnar's got to cash in and turn it into a triple threat. They are sort of a little revenge thing for what Seth Rollins did to him. I feel like that this will be the match that he'll get, and I don't feel I don't feel he'll get at SummerSlam or uh, Extreme Rules is the next one in it. Uh, I don't think he'll be doing at Extreme Rules. I think he'll be doing it here and set up for Seth versus Brock. For Extreme Rules. For Extreme Rules or SummerSlam. I we're looking forward to a great. Oh, yeah. Paper, yeah. Are you, are you <laughs> no, this this is going to be a bog standard pay per view. I feel like it's going to be probably just a bit better than the regular Raw. Nah, I reckon it's going to be as terrible as a regular <laughs> Raw. Uh, uh, as as for punishments, we've came up with a pretty good one, and this all becomes because of Thomas's jealousy. Uh, Thomas got jealous of Sophie getting to slap me. Because of the fact that, if you remember right, in a previous video, I slapped him. One, two, three. So, we have decided that this punishment will be the revenge punishment. Basically, if I lose, Tom will get to give me the slap across the face with a whipped cream. And if Tom loses, I will be squeezing a lemon into his eye. So, I look forward to their punishments. Um... Thomas, is there anything that you would like to comment about Stomping Grounds? We're gonna kick ass and take names! Uh, but I, we, we kinda hope you enjoy the pay-per-view. Thomas is nice. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I, and if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to butt fuck that like button.